pitch on a graduation film, eight o'clock. That was about three twenty somethings about to be a party in the morning and the conversations that they have uh, just before leaving. The target audience is uh, males and females from around the age of eighteen to twenty four. Um, and it's targeted at an Irish audience as well. Um, so just go over the narrative. Uh, the story begins with Glenn arriving at a house early in the morning where a party is winding down. Lucy lets him in. Because of a bloody bandage wrapped around his fist and refuses to talk about it, it is evident that he's covering up a violent counter he's in during the night. Lucy gets Killian at Glenn's request and asks for a lift home. Lucy leaves at this point to go to her friend upstairs and talks about some issues she's having with her parents, and she doesn't feel much better after having the conversation. Um, we cut to Killian in the living room talking about his own personal problems that he's having, and he has some resolution at the end of the conversation. Um, and then we cut to Glenn, who's outside discussing the fight that he's in the other night. Um, he's recounting his story when they learn on social media that he's actually after hurting the guy a lot more than he thought, and he's distressed by it. Then the film ends, three of them meet together, and they all pretty much just leave the house together. So they continue on when you're not really. It's left with a bit of an open end. Um, so the three main characters are Lucy, who's ambitious but passive. She's trying to balance a medicine degree and, with, um, and a social life. Well, she's got overbearing parents who aren't happy with what she's doing. Um, Killian is uh, kind-hearted with a bit of a pushover. He's happy with his life, but he's not happy with he, he thinks how he perceives himself. He wishes he was like a stronger character. And Glenn is an sort of male dominant type who thinks he'll amount. Who everyone thinks that he'll amount to less than what he thinks he's worth. He's uh, violent, hostile in nature, but um, he's really close with his friends. Um, the film aims to evoke uh, the feeling of young adolescents have at the stage of their lives, um, in between stage where adulthood isn't quite secured yet, but they're past their teenagers. Uh, it won't contain any music apart from the intro and the outro sequences. Um, I only use natural light to light it, with some like a, you know maybe using LEDs just to fill what needs to be done. Um, I want to shoot all of it on a tripod, apart from the one outdoor scene, which will be on a shoulder rig. Um, each scene will be covered with a wider location and a single of each of the three main characters. Um, Whoever is directly addressing the main character will have their own answer and shot, or maybe a two shot with the character, but I want to keep the number of shots for each scene to a minimum. Um, and the themes of it are coming of age, parental troubles, everyday struggles, um, the mundane, striving for personal faculties, growth of character, fear of reaction to your own nature, and interdependence resulting from friendships. Um, the influences I got from the films making the film was uh, Ibi Tiloni, Fred Fellini, which um, it's about, you know, it's like 30 something year olds who are, you know, not really going anywhere with their life, and um, just pretty much what they do in the, like, in the mundane. And Shameless, Days and Confused, American Graffiti are all sort of similar movies that have like similar, like, you know, either coming of age themes or it's just about mundane, you know, everyday social life. But I haven't really ever seen anything that's trying to do the same thing with Ireland. So I want to try to do something with Irish culture. That's sort of a similar thing. And um, onto the logistics. Um, the schedule we have here so far is, um, you know, um, this next deadline I have to hit is uh, the third draft of the script. And um, by um, the fourth of next month, I will have the final draft finished. And I'm going to do a casting day the week after that. And then the week after that, do a, a script reading and rehearsal once I have all the casting sorted. Um, I'm going to do another rehearsal after that, and I think, but I'm not 100% settled, but I'm going to shoot it in my own house, so I'm going to get a um, location test shooting done, um, finished by, um, like, over the Christmas, so I'm going to, like, run through it all. Um, and then, in come, coming back, I want to do one final rehearsal before starting shooting the, the week after that, um, about halfway through January. And then, probably after doing all the footage and everything, I'm going to start the edit a week after, and give myself two minutes to finish the whole edit. Um, so for the budget, uh, it will take approximately two full weeks work, I'm guessing for a producer to organise the shoot and post-production of the film. Um, from the figures I got, uh, producers are paid about 1400 for a full week. The director should expect a similar amount of hours, about 1600 per week. Um, for short films, I got figured that writers can expect around 1000 euro for the script. Um, so for the producer, two weeks, writer and director, two weeks, uh, it will amount to about seven grand for the pre-production. And that actually includes the producer and director's pay for all of it. Um, for the equipment, I got most of it from uh, Film Equipment Hire uh, in that website. Uh, it will cost about 430 for the camera gear, it's all there. Um, the sound will cost about 60 quid to rent. The lighting will be about 135. Uh, data wrangling and storage equipment will be about 40 quid, so it's 664 for the equipment. For the location fees, uh, Film will all take place in one location over three days of shooting, and from an article I got from the Irish Independent, Irish homeowners are forced to be earning about 750 to 1000 euro per day for a lot of films. Film productions used at their house. 
that should make you a three grand. For a transport uh, of uh, four crew members and six actors, maximum on set on a given day, uh, which is going to take two vehicles to get that all the equipment out there. So um, mine would have landed us on Gumtree, uh, rates are about 25 to 50 euro a day. So that's going to be about 150 quid. Uh, for catering, uh, 10 cast and crew members, we need to accommodate for an eight hour a day over three days. Uh, one Tuesday day offers a flat of food starting at 220 per person, two days be sufficient for a full day of shooting which is about five per person, which per day is 50 quid, which is 150 quid for three days. Post-production will take about 15 hours to edit, I'm estimating, and the gun rate for editors is about 25 quid an hour, I found from that website there, which is going to cost about 375 quid for the other. Um, so the summary of pre-production, equipment fees, location fees, transport, catering, cast and crew, post-production is going to be about 23,747, with contingency of 26,121. Um, um, I'm not going to expect to make any profit. Um, the intention of production is to send the film to as many festivals as possible and try to get exposure and future work. Uh, when the film is finished as festival circuit, I'll put it up on YouTube and Vimeo to try and get any extra exposure down out of it. And one more thing uh, is, um, <coughs> excuse me, I couldn't find any information on insurance as like far as the quote goes. I looked for a while and that's thing worth mentioning. So thanks for your time and any questions. Thank you very much.